Alright, so I'm going to pick up from where I left off in Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures. Now, uh, I've been having issues with my headset, and uh, basically if I don't replug it in before I start doing anything voice related, it, it doesn't recognize it. So yeah, we're going to be doing the uh, fighting combat section of this. And I did end up doing this twice, if I remember correctly. Uh, I can't remember who I used on what teams when, but that was just me reading out what it does. Generates a whirlwind field with Prince Thelxy at the center, pulling at opponents within the area of effect. Eight seconds duration. When the attack of a character hits an opponent in the whirlwind field, all characters in the party gain a 1% crit rate and 2.5% crit damage bonus. The effect lasts for six seconds and may stack up to 20 times. So yeah, that was actually very handy in killing a lot of enemies. But, uh, yeah, this this first team did not work out so well. The, ne the next team does. I forget who I used, though. So, yeah, I'll start off with this That's one. I'll get, like, enough. I think, Sacred five thousand. Fortune Preserver. Life goes up. Grow, grow, grow! Bow your head. Yeah, I'm still getting the hang of how to play New Blood. He's pretty fun. I use a controller, so it's a little harder for me to move the camera around than if I were using a keyboard. To be completely Orders honest. Given. Orders received. And see, oh, I didn't realize that, uh... So, okay, so my friend explained to me that he can do there his no charge type thing quickly if he can have the time works. And I didn't think about that at all during this first time. Oh, no. hmm. With this thing, it's kind of useless to have the on the team, to be honest. Some target practice. Opening I box of the death I could have done so many extra charge attacks. I didn't realize it. Yeah. Where the eternal Let the mighty be humble. Bloom is a forget when I started some target doing it where I could actually use it. Like I'm supposed to. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. We are alive. Your coming was foretold. I'm getting sick of it. Be sanctified. Some target practice. Oh, I think I just started realizing that I can do that multiple times, maybe. Committed to memory. Illusion shattered. Let the mighty be humble. Some target practice. Your coming was for Silence. I'm getting sick of this. Yeah, I got finally some target practice. Just shy as I think I ended up using Wanderer for this next part. I can't remember. Well, not for the next part, but for trying it again, I think I used Wanderer. It should be Chi Chi, Raiden, Shinsho, and then Wanderer if I'm correct. Yep. I did my Wanderer though. <laughs> I didn't do the trial one. Though if I did the trial Nouvellet, it probably would have been better, but I can't tell. I don't know for sure. I do know, so I did really well. Orders given. Second time Orders received. Rain cut. Oh Rain outlines your like squall and fury. Yeah. I want to say like eight thousand. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. We'll find out if we can handle this. Know your place. Opening box of Adeptai Trix. Go. Shine down. Let me leave you a verse. Know my soul. The wind rises. Yeah, I got points really. Good. You dare to gaze upon me? Orders given. Orders received. Rise. Ring cutter. Huh? Wall and fury. Upon the gale. Search for it. Bow your head. 
Opening box of the Deptide Tricks. There is no escape! Let me weave you a verse. No, my sword! Your Your coming is for behold! You dare to gaze upon me? Sacred name, fortune preserver, life goes... Illusion shattered! Rain cutter! Rain outlines your... The wind rises. Some target... Know your place! Okay, so almost 8,000. It was over 7,000, but close to 8,000. Now this last one, <laughs> this last one I did really good on. Though the funny thing is I actually did better on my friend's account than my own account. I used Wanderer on his account, I think. Wait, no, I did, I did use Nouvellet, but I used the trial Nouvellet instead of my own because my friend does not have Nouvellet, which is a shame. So anyways, the effect for this one is for 18 seconds after Prince Delta uses Vital Aria, all characters in the party gain 60% increased max HP and receive 20% less damage. In addition, when the current active character loses HP, all characters in the party gain 50% max HP and 50 elemental mastery. Which is why Nubulet was, like, clutch, clutch <laughs> for the Another test the subject. Tricks. Rise. Strike a pop! And I definitely use Marina. The tides beckon. Though I use the trial Marina because mine's only like level 70. <laughs> Bow and your I head. Really have all her skills up. I, is this one where I realized that I actually. Mm. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. Nope, I did not realize it yet. Oh well. I mean, I still got the you points know. I needed either way, so it didn't really matter to me. Let the mighty be humble. Orders given. Orders received. I totally did not. Stop that! Strike a pass. Now I know how to play Shine him down. properly since I played him on back. my account and my friend's account. When I realized that there was still more of those warp things that I could have picked up and used charge attacks. I mean, my friend Winsnot's usually the one who plays him, so I don't usually get to play him. Opening box of a death Eye tricks. Another test. You know. Illusion test. shattered. Be sanctified. Yeah, I'm already at 10,000. And I still have, like, over half a minute left. I think I ended up getting, uh, about 6,000. Orders 6, given. 000. Orders received. Like Real of life. Shower me with the- Shine down! Let the mighty be humble! <laughs> Bow your head. Be sanctified. Oh no, almost 16,000. It was 15,620. Okay. Well, that's gonna be the end of that. Obviously, I get all the rewards after doing that. Uh, on my friend's account, though, I think I got like 20,000 something. I might have to take a screenshot of that to show you guys. All right, so we got the combat section done for this now. So we're gonna do the motherboard now. These are the last two for it as well. By the way, if you see me pausing like that, that's actually me thinking. So I knew I wanted to delay the green one to get the orange one through, but I didn't delay it enough, so I have to extend the thing a little bit more. Now 
this one's a little bit more complicated. It's going to take me some thinking. And then I'll start trying to plot out the pathways for things. That's me realizing I definitely need the orange one to go first. And then trying to figure out how to get the orange one to go first. Well, pathway wise. I think I'd do a test run to see how things go with it. So what I was really trying to do was trying to get the, the green one to go around instead of going through the thing, but then I realized that there's no way to do that. And I'm just going to have to delay the action of the thing. And then I was like, you know what, let me make it further because I know how this usually goes. And there you go. Complete. All right, so now I'm gonna collect my rewards and stuff for uh, doing that and also the daily commissions and whatnot. And I'm already 38 on the battle pass, super excited about that. Now to collect my rewards. And now I can get a constellation node for Fremine. Super excited about that. I, I like collecting stuff like that. And then that's me just looking at the last one. Because there's like a last achievement thing on the uh, battle pass. I'm trying to figure out what it was and it looked like that. So that's me just going back and checking to see if I did everything. Or oh, actually, no, I was looking to see, because I only need 10 more to get the last reward for the event. So that's me trying to figure out where I'm missing it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, story. <laughs> so then I go in, and of course I take care of Parmenay's constellation. So he is, he's a C1 now. All right, so that's going to be the end of Thelxie's Fantastic Adventures, and I'll see you guys later.